<laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome! My name is John and I upload videos every Tuesdays. Today we're going to talk about the principles of personal finance. I'm going to share what I've read and learned throughout the years and I hope that uh, you also pick up something from it. So I really wanted to make this one of the earlier videos in this channel so that at least when we're discussing more advanced topics, we could just link back to this video and just remember what we are doing. Now a word to the wiser, this might seem like a very basic topic and it is but I think it's really a very important one to learn especially for someone who is just starting out and just learning about personal finance. Number one concept that you have to accept is that you need money. Whatever your current thoughts about money, you really have to accept this fact. You need money. Money is just one of those systems that we as humans use to get by with our everyday lives. We have different goals. You probably might want to have a fancy wedding. You might want to own a business. You might want to travel to another place. You might want to send your kids to school. If you don't have any goals right now, one goal that you could have is simply retirement because each and every one of us will retire one day. So you really need money. We have this very famous saying, money can't buy you happiness. And it's true, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a lot of things. Number one, of course, is options. You are stuck in a job that you don't like. Having money will keep you from sticking to that job just because you need that job to survive. This is something that I've always wanted for myself, which is why I don't really incur a lot of debt. One of the mindsets that I have, especially when going into a job, is I will do a job where I'm actually happy in. And thankfully, all of my work has been very fulfilling. I've never had to work because I really just had to pay the bills. But in case something happens, you know, I get bored of my work, I don't need my work to live and uh, I always made sure that I have this money that uh, will allow me to get by for a few months and allow me to find a new source of income. We need money and what do you do when you need money? So this actually leads us to concept number two. So what do you do after accepting that you need money? It's very obvious isn't it? You save. I don't think I really have to go in depth and convince you to save money because first of all, you are watching a personal finance video and number two, we are in the middle of a pandemic so if you haven't realized yet that you need to save money for the rainy day then I think it will be really a challenge to convince you otherwise. You already know that you need to save. How do you do this? There are two ways. You either have to spend less or you have to earn more. and. There are no other words more easier said than done. I know that feeling. We always say that, but in reality, it's a really hard thing to do because we have limited resources. We have limited income, but the want and the need are everywhere. Even when you're inside just browsing the internet, you get bombarded by all these ads, especially now that online shopping is very convenient and very easy. All you have to do is click a button and then you get to spend money and you get things that you want. These are one of the things that we just really have to accept. Some tips for savings. Number one is budgeting and there are a lot of resources about budgeting. I think Filipinos are very good at budgeting, especially Filipino moms. One thing that you could do is set up different accounts for different purposes. Don't put all your money in just one account. Why? Because if you see your money in just one account, it, it becomes very easy to redeem it. Open separate accounts. Consider opening a very conservative mutual fund account like a money market fund because it's more challenging for people to withdraw. It's easy but it takes a longer time. The good thing about it is it earns more than your standard savings account. It's a good practice that whenever you try and save, you put your savings in a different account. It really helps if you consider your savings as part of your expense. Every month, your salary comes in and you've probably already allocated this for different things. Grocery bill, phone bill, internet, right? It's a good thing to remember that before you make these companies richer, you make yourself richer first. And this is what we call paying yourself first. Allocate a percentage of your salary and then separate that from your payroll account. This percentage, it's different for everybody. So if you can do with 5%, 10%, 
20%, 40%, whatever works for you. What is important is that you start and then you try to save more as time goes by. Concept number three is you should invest. You have to make your money work for you. There are a lot of ways that you can invest. One of the more popular goals of my peers is to actually start uh, their own business. That's also a goal of mine. When you put up the capital to start your own business, of course, you are hoping that down the road, you will earn profit from the investment that you put out. Now, is starting your own business the only way to invest? No, there are other ways. You can invest in the stock market, you can buy a mutual fund, you can invest in other people's businesses, you can invest in a co-op. So these are some of the things that I would like to discuss in this channel, especially those that uh, I have had experience with. I am someone who is trying to figure it out also. The last concept is you should only get into a business you are already an expert of and you should only ask advice from real experts and professionals. Now, talking about the first part, I've mentioned that I am someone who want to get into a business. Right now, especially in quarantine, plants are very in. We have this plantitos and plantitas group. And honestly, even before the quarantine started, this was already something that I was looking into because I've seen that thread. Even YouTubers abroad like Jenna Marbles, Brett Munra, they're very into plants. I've discussed this with some of my office mates and I said, you know what, I'm thinking maybe this is like a good business to get into, selling plants online. But honestly, I don't know the first thing about plants. I don't own a plant. How would I get into this business, which I know nothing about? Now, the second portion of this concept is you should only ask advice from real experts. When you are thinking of different opportunities, make sure that you ask experts. And who are these experts? These are professionals like investment advisors or people in the bank. But not just those, you also have Google. But make sure that you are using credible references. Whenever you look at investment opportunities in the real estate, make sure that it's listed in the HLURB website. If you are looking at a company to invest to, make sure that it's listed in the SEC website. And also look at resources which would help you. That's it actually, we discussed four concepts um, which I think pretty much summarizes the principles of personal finance. Namely, number one is you have to understand that you need money, right? Uh, accept that fact. Number two is you have to save. Number three is you have to invest. And number four, seek advice only from professionals and only get into a business where you are already an expert. Again, this topic is very basic, but I really hope that you still learn from it. If not learned, I hope that you are reminded of it so that uh, next time that you are you know, making money decisions, uh, you keep them in mind. And these will be our grinding principles for the next uh, topics that uh, we get into. If I could recommend to you one book on personal finance, teaching you and outlining the basics of personal finance, it's this book called The Retelling of the Richest Man in Babylon by Rose Fres Fausto. So this is basically a children's book. And what's very good about it is that you can read it in one sitting like 15 to 30 minutes if you're a slow reader uh you can you can sit down and then it will already tell you the things or the basic principles that you should remember every time you think about your personal finance plans you can purchase this online i'm sure if you google it you will find some links on how to purchase it or like you can go to the website fq mom where it's also for sale but i think um rose fausto also uploaded a playlist in her youtube channel you can go check it out and then you can listen to it it's being read by you know people in the philippine financial industry and it's it's really a good read okay so that's it from me um again i try to post weekly videos every tuesdays so um if you are interested in topics mainly revolving around personal finance self-development as well as investing uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that 
you are updated with the new content that is put out.